I'm going to show you how you can push a Slack message into Airtable. So I have a content Airtable base where I want to push questions from the community into this table and then tag it with the type of content it should be. And then from there, I can use the status field to update whether this content piece is in progress, done, or needs to be done. So when someone posts a question in a general channel and I tag it with this Slack emoji, I want it to go into this Airtable base. So heading into Zapier, we're going to open our editor and start creating our Zap. We're going to first connect to Slack to set up our trigger. Our trigger event is going to be new reaction added. Hit continue. Connect to your Slack account. Hit continue again. Choose a reaction that you want to use. I'm going to select a Slack one. Then select which channel you want this Zap to work on. And for user, this means the Zap will only fire when this specific person uses the emoji. And this prevents other people from using that emoji from triggering this Zap. So hit continue and then test your trigger. And if you don't have test data, go ahead and put in a Slack message and react to it with the emoji you selected. Hit continue. Now we're going to connect to Airtable and the action event will be create record. Connect to your Airtable base. Select the Airtable base that you want to send your Slack message to, and then choose the corresponding table. And then you're going to map your Slack information to your fields. So in this example, I just want the message text. And then when I use a Slack emoji, I want this to be a video content type. So if you have multiple content types and you want to tag messages for either like video or written to content, then you would set up another zap using a different emoji. So hit continue and then test that out. So going back into Airtable, we have um, our Slack message here with the type that we've tagged it with. And now you can turn on your zap. So again, if you want to have multiple tags for our Slack messages, you'll need to set up a zap for different emojis. So once you're all set up, you can turn on your zap and start pushing messages from Slack with tags into Airtable.